Have you picked up the compound bow yet? Well, you should. It is a bit of a trek over to the southwest, but it's definitely worth it. It's a much better upgraded bow, of course, and it really is fairly simple to get, as long as you can deal with some cannonballs and you've got your shovel. Also, you'll be able to get a silencer for your pistol at this same location. So leave a like if you find it useful, check out the rest of my guides. Let's go. Let's get this compound bow. So as I said, it's pretty easy to spot. It's the only green circle in the southwest side of the map. You can see the two caves are fairly close to it as well. It's guarded by a bunch of cannibals. In fact, you find three different camps here. So it's great for picking up rope. So make sure you leave any rope at home as you'll truly get untold amount that you won't really need. Or even better still, bring as many bones as you can with you so you can craft some bone armor while you're here. Also on the way is a whole batch of guarana berries. There's a huge amount here as well, which obviously give you a little stimulant boost when you eat them. If you're wearing the leaf armor, you might find this a bit more stealthy and easy to do. Otherwise, you will have to take out two of these red cannibal dudes. But again, it could all be changed depending on how far you've progressed and how many of the mutants have overtaken. But it's quite a large camp with lots of tents and you will find some other of the coffins to go and raid for the actual rope. It's also got a pretty disgusting meaty chair. Maybe that'll be something we can actually craft and use in the future. Enemies did respawn here pretty quickly, so you may want to make sure you've got a save point up and running, as I couldn't find any direct tents to go and save. But of course, you will be able to save inside the actual bunker once you've dug it out, but you will probably be attacked. So yeah, definitely have a save point close. Just as I was about to enter the bunker, I had my third wave of enemies either respawning or coming across the camp. It's another unfinished bedroom bunker. There won't be any enemies in here. Major difference being that it's partly flooded. Make sure you grab the ink that's on the shelves in the maintenance area, but that's about it in terms of loot other than some wire. There'll be meat in the fridge and various other foods. And on the table next to another 3D printer, you will find the silencer. This, I do believe, is one of the four 3D printers that are actually in the game. Head into the bathroom and you'll find next to the dead geezer the compound bow. It's certainly a lot faster to put off shots and use, and I don't know if it does any more damage. I do still believe that's down to the arrow that you're using, but I took out this moose pretty quickly with two shots. It's quite a large lake that descends into a waterfall and a big river going down. Next to it, you'll find an encampment, and I had a bunch of mutants, which were nice and easy to get some of their actual armor. As I said, this is like one of two major encampments around the encampment near the actual compound bow, so you can really pick up a whole ton of loot. And that's it, that's the last showcase or location guide for every major item of weapon or armor or piece of equipment you need. I'll do a breakdown of all the different outfits that you can get and look out for more guides and tutorials on base building, tips and more. Until next time, we're at Bags, laters.